Councils in Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire are set to spend hundreds of thousands of pounds extra of taxpayers' money fighting the controversial High Speed 2 rail link. Well, already along the £32 billion rail link between London and Birmingham, local authorities have pledged £1.2 million. But now it has emerged much more is needed to continue the campaign. Well, the latest council to stump up more cash is Ellsbury Vale. Its leader has spoken exclusively to our transport correspondent, Mike Pearce. Times may be hard for local authorities, but it seems when it comes to High Speed 2, there's plenty of money in the kitty. Councils along the route are voting to increase how much they're spending on fighting the £32 billion scheme. Ellsbury Vale is typical. It had already earmarked £100,000, and 87000 of that is now spent. So this week it voted to put another £50,000 in the pot. The time when councils are having to make economies, is this the right use of this money? Well, it has to be found, I believe. We have to find the money because we have to complete the fight. This is a once-in-a-lifetime. Uh, we've heard lots of that said recently, but this is a once-in-a-lifetime fight, in my view. But your critics might say, you know, is it the right use of public money at this time? Well, if uh, I, I believe it is. If the council's having to spend an extra £50,000. Is it worthwhile if them spending... If I had £50,000, I'd give it to them to fight it. I think it'll be worthwhile them having a go. If you don't have a go, then... What do you do? Just sit back and let it all happen? Not at all. Anything that will stop HS2 is great, as far as I'm concerned. Well, here in Wendover, most people seem to be backing the local council. But there was a warning to David Cameron today as he prepares for the party conference, and that is this. Change the HS2 policy, or it will cost you MPs at the next election. I believe there's every chance they will lose a substantial number of seats, a dozen or 18 seats. Much of the cash has gone towards a court case to fight the scheme in December. Council say the battle will go on after that and they need the funds to help. Mike Pearce in Aylesbury Vale for Meridian Tonight.